Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we have some Shadal Magistus. Of course, this is obviously a control deck. It's impossible to create any like good functioning combos with it. It's obviously trying to maintain a good game state along the, um, along a longer game and uh, trying to out-resource your opponent. Obviously, um, why would I ever try to even? Why would I even try to do something as stupid as infinite gates with them? <laughs> what, what am I doing? I really have to rethink my life choices, and I really do have to um, take some serious brain therapy because um, I'm actually thinking of doing Magistus Shadal Infinity Gates. Um, uh, the sad part is that I've had the idea for Shadal Infinity Gates for a really long time, and with the help of Magistus Engine, you can get it so consistently. Um, it's pretty funny, and even if you don't do Infinity Gates, um, the Infinity Gate engine is only realistically three bricks, which is just better than Dragoon. It's have two bricks and one Garnet. Um, so, you know, uh, let's see what you can do. Magistus, uh, we're gonna normal summon Flame Zorua. Uh, Zorua is able to equip Maiden, and then you're able to search a light monster, i.e. Riliona. And her effect, uh, her graveyard effect will be very clutch here. We're gonna activate Shadal Fusion in order to fuse the Light and the Wendy. This can also be a Skamada. Um, you do want to keep a Skamada in rotation, so in case this is not a Skamada, you're just gonna send a Skamada off Construct. Um, so now we're gonna go chaining one Wendy, chaining two Construct doesn't matter too much. The Construct will dump Skamada and Wendy will summon Ariel. We're gonna use Skamada's effect in order to dump an Incarnation. Now you'll get a Cross Sheep. You're gonna use Construct's effect to re recover the Shadal Fusion. Um, it can, Shadal Fusion, this can realistically be any um, fusion spell, even Polymerization. Um, Shadal Construct adding it back is just a little bit more of follow-up, if anything. Um, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a luxury. We're gonna use Incarnation, Flipping Aerial, Aerial Trigger, Summoning Construct, Chaining 1, Construct Chaining to Cross Sheep, Cross Sheep Reviving the Zorua. Uh, Zorua is actually really clutch just because it's Tuner, so we can make Halki Fibrax and do some really stupid stuff from there. So now we're going to use the effect of Riliona to equip a, an Artemis from your graveyard. And now since a um, Magistus monster was equipped to it, you're able to um, summon a level 4 spellcaster from your hand or graveyard, which is really, really good. Next, we have, um, we're going to summon the Skomana with this effect. Uh, we're going to go into the Halki Fibrax since Zorua is a tuner and we'll use it in Cross Sheep. Uh, Halki Fibrax will activate this effect, summoning a Baby Rock. Um, and then you can go into some more, you can go into Artemis just to get a light monster so that um, both the Construct and the um, Artemis are both light so you can go into Union Carrier. And then you're going to do some equipy shenanigans, equipping Thunderbird. And then you're going to go ahead, set one, setting Schism. Um, setting Schism is pretty big since um, Schism is also allows you to just send a, um, car a monster your opponent controls uh, with the same attribute as Fusion Summon Monster. So if you're summoning a Construct, you're able to send a light monster. If you're summoning a, um, realistically any dark monster, um, if you're summoning Winda, then you can um, just send a dark monster they control. Uh, you I even run Shekinaga and since... Um, Cross Sheep is an Earth Monster, Shaki Naga does kind of make sense. And since the three most um the three most popular attributes are Earth, Fire, and Light, it just covers all of them. If you're up against Salamangrid and they have like opened something, you're still fine. You can still just make wind and lock them out, so it doesn't matter I regardless. Um no matter what that deck they're using, they they'll just lose. So you're gonna use um some more to summon in the bird and um we can even use um, our Schism to summon an Apcolone, Apcolone just um, and Schism sends a dark monster. Uh, you can use Apcolone to um, just negate the effects of anything they have, um, if, if you really want to, I usually don't. Um, in the side deck, I you can also run a uh, Shadal Dragon, so you can summon another Construct, and then use Construct's effect in order to dump a Dragon, um, and then Dragon will be able to pop back where they have. So. Uh, you do have a bit of versatility there. You can even send a Wendy to summon a beast and get a little bit of follow-up if they just, you know, pass. Um, so, you do have lots of options here. And the way Infinity Gates work, in case you don't know, Avion reads, um, once per chain you can bounce back a Miss Valley card you control, return, to, uh, return it to the hand and then negate uh, the any card your opponent does. And then um, you, when Thunderbird goes from the field to the hand, uh, you can summon it back right back up. So now your effect is once per turn, so you can infinitely, infinitely negate cards your opponent controls. Yes, it does fall to higher chain links, but I would just like you to name one singular deck that like has higher than chain link two. 
Like, the, it's very rare to see higher than chain link 3 cards, just to let you know. And you even have cards like Shadal Fusion as follow-up. Um, all of the um, El Shadal monsters float into an extra search. You um, basically have everything. Apclone also floats into a search, surprisingly. So, you can realistically do anything and can't even be destroyed by battle. So, um, that's kind of the first combo, just showing you what, how the Magistuses help. And I'll just kind of show a more, a, probably a broader combo, I'd say. Right here, we, once again, um, we have Mathematician plus any Fusion spell plus the Skomata. Realistically, any normal summon plus Skomata plus Fusion spell and does the trick. Um, it can also can it can also be any of your any of your perform age engine. So we're gonna use a Mathematician dumping the Trick Clown and not Trick Clown Damage Juggler, and then we'll have Damage Juggler to search the Trick Clown. Fusion spell plus Skomata plus Trick Clown should seem familiar. Um, it's full combo and this. And before Link Cross was banned, you could you didn't need them a mathematician, just these three cards on their own are full combo. But mathematician has the extra normal summon. Um you do need the extra body now without Link Cross, so that's kinda of sad. You can use your fuse spell, fuse these two to construct. You're gonna do some chain link, chain block everything with Trick Clown. Trick Clown will summon itself, inflicting 1000 to yourself. You'll, you'll use Skoma to dump Wendy and Contract to dump Incarnation. Wendy will activate some nail Nails, Drill, Aerial, and Face Down Defense Position. You'll use the um, Construct and the Trick Clown in order to summon Cross Sheep. Use Incarnation, flip the Aerial, Aerial Effect to summon the Construct in Cross Sheep Zone. Uh, chain link one Construct into Cross Sheep, summoning back the Trick Clown, and then Construct will dump Hedgehog. Since we don't have easy access to um, Halky Fibrax, since we don't have Zora, we're going to be getting a bit creative. Let's say we're getting a bit creative. We're going to be searching Falco with the uh, Hedgehog. Um, you can probably do like some janky um, chain link one sheep chain link. Wait, the sheep target? Oh no, wait. I I'm dumb. Uh, you probably could have like optimized this 10,000 times. You used, uh, you're dumping Falco with Construct, Construct, um, Sheep Effect to summon the Falco, go into Halky Fibrax, um, go into your thing, and then, um, probably link summon some stuff, um, you're realistically ending on the same end board, but without Schism, uh, if you're really aching to get the Schism, then, uh, this is, uh, you do this, uh, the steps I'm gonna take right here. Um, th this is completely unnecessary, by the way, um, Please, oh, just forgive me. So we're gonna go into construct summoning some stuff. We're gonna be summoning Falco. Then we're gonna dump Rook. We're gonna go into Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax summoning Wing Beast Tuner. And then you'll go into some more. Go into Union Carrier. And since a uh, construct was fusion summoned again, a special summoned again, you're able to dump a Schism and add back the Schism. Um, so in case you really want Schism, that is the play. Uh, if you do not want Schism, then uh, I'll probably just show you what to do in a minute. But realistically, it's the same end board. You don't have Aerial on field, but it doesn't make a difference now, does it? So now you have the same end board, Infinite Gates, and you have the Schism as follow-up. Just being able to absolutely obliterate your opponent. Even through cards like Dark Ruler no more, um, you can just activate Schism, Summon Wind at GG. Um, it's just really, really stupid. Um, so... That's kind of the next combo. I'll kind of show you the uh, non schism one if you want to have a weaker end board. Over here, we have the uh, deck profile split into first your Shadal monsters, then your Magistus monsters, your Performages, Normal Summon, Hand Traps, Bricks, and then kind of repeat. So, starting off, we run the one beast. You occasionally summon it off Wendy in a grinder match if you're not doing combo. Um, as you said, this is just better than Dragoon at this point. Um, so. Shadal Beast, you occasionally summon it depending on your hand, so that's something. Uh, next we have the Triple Skumada. Uh, Skumada, really good card. I don't know what else to say. Um, just, you know, dumps anything, is gives you extra consistency. Uh, it swaps in for realistically any other Shadal in your graveyard, uh, which is really what matters in this case. Next up, we have the two copies of Ariel. Ariel is really good this format, just being able to banish, like, say, Golden Lord in your opponent's graveyard, being able to banish Drytrons in their graveyard, and you have easy access to it uh, through cards like Construct and Shadal Schism, which is kind of the main way you're going to use its effect. And the on-field effect to summon uh, banish Shadal monsters can also really come in clutch um, a lot of the time. So, um, double Ariel for sure. 
uh, Triple Wendy, Wendy um, just summons stuff, uh, extra Shadals. Uh, you can summon an Aerial if you're going for combo. You can summon Ace Commander in case you kind of want to disrupt your opponent somehow, I guess. Um, I, I can see, I see it sometimes. If they're just going for Brute Force, they're trying to go for the OTK, then Wendy can just dump the Ace Kamada. Uh, beast, uh, you can summon Beast, draw two, discard one, you can summon Hedgehog, grab a fusion spell, i.e. Shadal Fusion to just fusion some from your deck. And um, very rarely you also go for the Falco to just revive, say, a Construct or a Winda, um, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we have the triple copies, um, which is Flame Zorua. Uh, this card is broken, it's able to revive your, say, Skamada, you're able to revive that. Um, it's able to equip itself with Artemis so you can search Reliona, which is a light. Reliona can trigger um, Zoroa's effect, the Monster Reborn is just insane. Reliona itself is an absolutely excellent card. It's able to search a fusion spell, so you're almost never running out of them. Um, it's also able to um, occasionally... It's able to occasionally return one of your banished spell casters. So if you're banishing something with a schism or an incarnation, um, this this card is pretty good in terms of being able to recover those lost materials. Next up, uh, we have two card performance engine, one trick clown, one damage juggler. Damage juggler is on really only there for the mathematician play, and um, trick clown is trick clown reborns itself ju basically just for free. Uh, next up, we have the Triple Mathematician. Uh, Mathematician is it has a lot of um, utility. Um, in case you don't have access to Wendy or Skamada, you just use Mathematician, Dump Hedgehog, Search. Yep, that, it's just that easy. You're also t inherently running 5 copies of Trick Clown, since because of m m Mathematician and the Damage Juggler, so that's extra consistency there too. Depending on the context, you can even send an Aerial to like blow up your opponent's graveyard. Um, it just does a lot of stuff for the deck. Next up, we have the Ash Blossom, generic hand trap, you know how it goes. Um, it's 43 cards by the way, since um, I am running a good couple of bricks. Um, uh, Shadal Incarnation is a Garnet, unfortunately. Um, but you're usu usually running it in Shadal decks anyways, and it its effect on field isn't that bad either. It's able to recur your... Uh, if they outwind that, it just recurs it. Um, for bricks, we run Avion, Thunderbird, Baby Rock. It's funny how I'm actually running three Mist Valleys in this deck instead of two. Um, just, you know, your Bird Gang. Bird Gang. Next up, we have the Triple Shadal Fusion. In my opinion, it's probably the best fusion spell in the entire game. Like, if every archetype had this, those archetypes would just straight up be tier zero. Um, like, it's able to fusion something using cards in your from your deck. It's, and um, all your opponent has to do is control a monster summon from the extra deck. Um, I remember um, back when I was a younger man, I had done some like really cheesy stuff. Like um, it's it, it probably like a month ago or something. Um, I used like the code breaker package to give my um, opponent a monster, and then I. Switch control of it with a, a using Geonator Transverser. I kind of creature swap a monster summon from the extra deck, and then I can hard use Shadal Fusion on turn one, which is it was an insanely funny replay. Um, I'll I'll have to show it to you soon in some other video. Um, El Shadal Fusion just quick play spell, just summon stuff whenever you want. Uh, two Magistus Invocation. Um, it's mainly just for the very to search. Uh, some, if you want, you can even cut one invocation for the monster reborn for the extra extension. Um, since this is an infinite gate deck, I would probably just uh, prefer the extension. I believe this is the name. Uh, no, it isn't. Um, wait, I'll have this hard search Magistus. Um, as I said, I would probably play the. Um, this card is basically a searchable monster reborn for Magistus, which is super cool. On top of that, it also protects your Magistus cards in Spell Trap Zone, but you don't really care about that, do you? It only really protects them from um, Ghost Ogre, which is... Who plays Ghost Ogre? Um, next up, um, we have the Magistus Invocation, as I said. Um, it just fuses stuff. Um, it does have to use a spellcaster monster for material specifically, but um, all of your you're usually just using spellcasters if you're using the um, if you're using the Shadal, so you don't have to worry about that. Triple Super Poly cards broken. You're able to just hard fuse any of your opponent's monsters into your. You just generate advantage for free, basically. 
Um, next we have the one copy of Brush Doll Incarnation, mainly for just dump off construct do combo. Um, next up we have the two copies of Schism. Uh, it's we run two because um, you want to run multiples, uh, just because. Having the ability to have multiples and recur them from the graveyard is really good. Um, and it often does just get popped by um, your opponent's cards since it usually is a target. It summons window for free, so it's always going to be. Uh, it always has target on its back. Next for extra deck, we run the one copy of Shekinaga. Um, I you occasionally make this um, if if you have cross sheep in your graveyard or mathematician. And um, it's mainly an earth target for uh, Rook if you're against Zodiac or something. So um, that's where Shekinaga comes in. Uh, triple Construct. Construct is broken. It just It's not once per turn. Just dump a Shadal from your deck. And you can loop in multiple times with cards like Cross Sheep, Aerial, and um, Schism, and Fusion, and all of that stuff. Uh, we have the one App Cologne. Uh, it's not, it can't be destroyed by Battle. It's able to basically Foolish Burial and a Shadal card when sent to the graveyard. And um, just negate the effects of any card permanently uh, when it's summoned, which is really good. If you're up against Eldritch, this effect can come super clutch. Just negating their Eldon permanently can be um, a game winner. Next up, we have the two copies of Winda. Winda is pretty cool. It stops your opponent from summoning more than once. And um, if your opponent doesn't have the Winda out, they just you just win on the spot right there. Um, next up, we have. The Simorg Bird of Sovereignty, um, for infinite gates, obviously, <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, next we run the Halky Firebrax, Halky Firebrax because uh, you have a couple of ways to uh, summon it, Zoroa if you hard draw it, and you use Falco if you don't. Uh, next up, we have the Proxy F Magician, um, prob you can probably cut this, but uh, I I'm a win more type guy, so I just go for the Schism every time, um, uh, to be honest, you probably don't even need the schism at that point anymore um but proxy of magician pretty cool card lets you hard fuse with your stuff so that's cool uh we have the union carrier union carrier is able to just um well equip thunderbird and then you have infinite gates instantly next up we have the one copy of cross sheep just being able to revive stuff from your graveyard is obviously a really good effect uh, two copies of Artemis. I run two copies because sometimes you do need the extra light monster to make unit carrier and the extra card generally goes into like using a Zorwa or something. And then finally the one gravity controller is able to um non-target non-bounce stuff non-target non-destroy just remove stuff. So if you're able to bait out your opponent's negate you are really good. Uh, you just make this dude and you just get rid of your stuff and also just send cards like App Cologne to the graveyard for free so you can trigger its foolish burial effect and uh, you are pretty good after that. So that is kind of the deck. Uh, please don't take this deck seriously. Like, I uh, don't, uh, don't go sharing this to your friends and say, yo I saw this cool deck profile, I was able to make infinite gates. Um, we, we should definitely try this out our no like, next locals actually. You probably should try it out your next locals. It's a really funny deck. Um, it's basically Magician Shadal, except with three extra cards, and an infinitely better end board, which is really really funny. So I honestly like the deck. I've put my hard work, heart and soul into this. Um, just love it. Man. Um, before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That really does help the channel. And I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.